Welcome to Port St. Lucie. This is uh, Professor Teferro for the Belt and Road Strategy Series. And tonight we're going to examine lesson number 12. Lesson 12 is concerned about the companies and countries that will be uh, excluded from the Belt and Road. Um, why is this a problem for China? Um, this will become a problem for China because anybody who's excluded from the Belt and Road will have a, um, a long and serious um, problem of dealing with China in the future. For example, uh, if China excludes Japan from the Belt and Road, then China, uh, then Japan will consider China an enemy in the Asian theater and be more likely to uh, trade with the United States and India. Um, if you exclude India, uh, they're going to feel the same way as Japan. They're going to uh, feel that you left them out of the Belt and Road. So now they're going to deal with Japan and the United States. Um, when you push somebody away, they generally go to uh, one of your enemies. Um, as Sun Tzu would say in his book, the um, enemy of my enemy is my friend. And that's precisely what would happen with the enemies of China in trade. Uh, if Japan and India were upset over exclusion from the Belt and Road, they would run into the arms of the United States and become the friends of the enemies of China. So um, those are two of the scenarios that we would see from exclusion. Uh, but then there's minor exclusions, such as um, countries that will get more or less trade along the maritime route, countries that will get more or less trade among the uh, areas of the Central Asian route, and countries that will get more or less trade in the EU as the end destination for the Northern Overland Route, uh, which is planned to go through Russia to Moscow. But once it arrives in Moscow, will it go to Scandinavia or will it go to the um, Eastern European countries, or possibly to Germany. So um, there are a number of questions that will be arising uh, from the uh, exclusion of countries that are not getting what they feel to be their fair share of trade from the Belt and Road Initiative. And these will be problems for Beijing to consider. Um, they have to find ways to assuage uh, the feelings of these countries who are being left out or they feel they are being left out or have a lesser participation. Um, so uh, remember, for every country that's left out, you have created an enemy or potential rival. So uh, that's enough for this particular area for tonight. Um, next time, we'll look at another aspect of the Belt and Road strategies. And until then... Uh, this is Professor Teferro from Port St. Lucie, wishing you all a happy and healthy night. Take care.